Hey everyone, it's Dr. Marcon. So we're continuing on with chapter nine. So this is part two of chapter nine on joints. Next, we're gonna talk about the ankle joint. The ankle joint is a hinge joint, which is a specialized uh, synovial joint um, or a type of synovial joint. Um, it's a hinge joint between the united inferior ends of the tibia and the fibula as well as the talus of the foot and allows movements of dorsiflexion and plantar flexion only. So the ankle joint is stabilized medially and laterally by ligaments. We have the medial deltoid ligament and the lateral ligament. The inferior ends of the tibia and fibula are joined by ligaments. We have the anterior and posterior tibiofibular ligaments. So here is the talus, um, one of the ankle bones, and we can see the distal end of the tibia as well as, um, let's see, we can see the calcaneus, another uh, sort of ankle joint. So we have um, the ankle joint here, which is a type of synovial joint, and we have the different ligaments that um, reinforce or help stabilize this ankle joint. So here is a medial view of the right ankle. Um, again, we have the uh, ankle bone, which is the talus, and then medially, we'll have the distal end of the tibia. Um, we have this large medial uh, triangular shaped ligament called the medial ligament or uh, deltoid ligament. So delta, delta is actually, um, the Greek symbol for delta is a triangle. Um, so here we have this triangular shaped medial ligament. Um, again, one of the ligaments that help reinforce the ankle joint. And then we have the many smaller ligaments that help reinforce the ankle. Um, you don't have to memorize all these ligaments. Just know that, you know, we do have ligaments that help stabilize this joint. So we have the uh, lateral ligaments. We have um, the anterior and posterior tibiofibular ligaments. Again, all these uh, ligaments stabilizing the ankle joint. That's a lateral view. Here we see a posterior view. And again, we can see the articulating surface of the talus. Um, and then we have the posterior tibiofibular ligament here. Uh, and then um, posterior talofibular ligament. So going from the talus to the fibula. Okay. So again, you don't have to know all these ligaments. Just know that uh, we do have ligaments that do kind of reinforce the synovial joints. So we have disorders of joints. Um, the structures of joints can make them prone to traumatic stress. Function of joints makes them subject to friction as well as wear and tear. Um, joints can also be affected by inflammatory and degener degenerative processes. Some injuries that are common um, in joints, we have torn cartilage. This is a common injury to, um, for example, the meniscus of the knee joint. We have sprains. Sprains are ligaments of, um, are when ligaments of a reinforcing joint are stretched or torn. And then we have dislocation of the joint. This occurs when the bones of a joint are forced out of alignment. Um, a common example we see in movies, we have dislocation of the shoulder. Uh, what really gets me going is when, you know, the actor who has a shoulder dislocation will bang their shoulder right up against the wall to try to put that um, shoulder back in place. Guys, this doesn't work. <laughs> you don't want to do this. Don't believe everything you see in movies. Uh, you have to properly um, reduce and um, put the uh, structures back in place. Um, through a certain procedure. It does not involve banging your shoulder into a wall. So we have specific inflammatory and degenerative conditions. Um, anytime you see the word itis, um, at the end of the word itis me basically means inflammation of. So bursitis means an inflammation of a bursa due to injury or friction. 
tendonitis, again, inflammation of, so tendonitis is inflammation of a tendon sheath. Um, arthritis. So a lot of people hear about arthritis, especially in um, older people. So arthro, again, is uh, the Greek word for joint. Itis, inflammation of. So basically, this is an inflammation of a joint. So arthritis describes over 100 kinds of joint damaging diseases. We have osteoarthritis, osteo involving bone, arthro involving the joint. So osteoarthritis is the most common type of wear and tear arthritis. We have rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid is a chronic inflammatory disorder. Uh, usually what happens is um, it has autoimmune processes where um, antibodies might be attacking um, cells within the joint. We have gouty arthritis or gout. Uh, gout is when you have a buildup of uric acid. So this buildup of uric acid causes pain in joints. Um, another uh, disease condition that can affect the joints is Lyme disease. Uh, Lyme disease from uh, we get from a tick bite. Um, and Lyme disease is an inflammatory disease that can often result in joint pain. So embryologically, synovial joints develop from mesenchyme. Um, by week eight of fetal development, the joints resemble adult joints. Uh, the outer region of the mesenchyme will become a fibrous joint capsule, whereas the inner region becomes the joint cavity. Moving on further down in life, um, during youth, injury may tear an epiphysis off a bone shaft. It was a very serious injury. And then with advancing age, we have um, osteoarthritis, again, a type of inflammation involving both bone and the joint. Um, so osteoarthritis becomes more common with advancing age. Um, what we do recommend to our patients um, is exercise. Exercise actually helps maintain a joint health. You've heard of the you know old motto: if you don't use it, you lose it. So we want to you know make sure that everyone's getting proper amount of exercise, at least 20 minutes a day, um, and this helps maintain joint health. Not only joint health, but also um, bone uh, health as well. So apparently that's it for chapter nine. Um, I didn't realize that there was only very few slides left within this PowerPoint, but at least, you know, it's sort of divided into uh, two parts. So this is the end of part two um, and the end of chapter nine on joints.